And now your starting lineup for Cheesegate. Leading off, number 21, center fielder Alejandro Calpala. Batting second, number 17, first baseman Marco Gonzalez. Batting third is number 55, third baseman Sergio Nartera. Batting fourth, number two, right fielder Ariel Rosario. Batting fifth, number six, the designated hitter Julian Hernandez. Batting six, number 52, second baseman Arturo Luna. Batting seventh, number 12, the shortstop Hector Hernandez. Batting eighth, number one, left fielder Bracing Corum. And batting ninth, number 24, catcher Arturo Montel. And your pitcher for Keysgate, number 31, Austin Yeaver. starting lineup for the Key West Kongs. Batting first, shortstop, number three, Kai Smith. Batting second, number four, second baseman, Landon Lowe. Batting third, number 19, catcher, Daniel Varela. Batting fourth, number 10, third baseman, Preston Hurst. Batting fifth, number 22, right fielder, Jaden Birchfield. Batting six, number 24, first baseman, Trevor Zelch. Batting seven, number six, center fielder, Nathan Barroso. Batting eight, number 27, left fielder, Aiden Randy. And batting ninth, number 28, the designated hitter, Michael Alfonso. And your pitcher for the Conks, number 25, Andres Barroso. Please rise to the national anthem.
now to bat, number 21, Alejandro Calpala. Alejandro Calapa digs in there, and the first pitch of the final regular season game is low ball one. Calapo, Gonzalez, and Matera do to bat here for the Knights in the top of the first inning. Their center fielder takes a hack at this one and rips it foul in front of the first base dugout where the Knights have been for the last two days. That is the visiting dugout here at the Rex. Calapa yesterday, he was uh, one for three. He had an RBI double, and he worked out a walk. He made an unbelievable catch in center field. Big swing and a miss. Strike two and robbed Andon Rady of extra bases as he sprinted and made the catch uh, right just to the right of the 360 side. Straight away, center field banged up against the fence and hung on to it. He'll chop this one foul down the third base line and the count remains at one ball and two strikes. So Lucky making just his second start of the year and look at that, Jack Kerr. Kearns, oh, excuse me, the traveling road secretary with the early Pepsi game break. Thank you, Jack. The one-two swung on. He got a piece of it. Fouled it back to the backstop. We've got both of our traveling assistants with us today. We do. George came down from Miami this George morning. George Seiko is here. Yeah. The game with him. Hasn't seen the new uh, the new field at the ballpark. He hasn't been here in a while. Nope. Been to a lot of conk games on the road, yep. but haven't, you know, George lives in Miami. It's good to have George here. It's hey, right. Say yeah. Ya. There you go, Judd. Your first C of the ball game. First strikeout for Barroso, and there's one away. So Lucky making his second start. He's got a record of 0-2 with an ERA of 5.17. Interesting to note, he has all the saves this year on the pitching staff. Right. He's got three of them. He's worked 21 and two-third innings this year. 25 hits, 19 runs, 16 earned. This ball is swung on and chopped uh, by Gonzalez. Marco Gonzalez right back to Lucky, who runs toward the first base back and bag and a little soft underhand toss to Zelch, and there's two away. Like what I see so far. Lucky's now a low. He's a sinker ball pitcher. <coughs> Excuse me, a sinker ball pitcher, which means he's going to get a lot of ground ball outs. All right, and there's the first one we saw today. Uh, good command of a fastball as a nice breaking ball. Finishing his line, 13 walks now, 15 Ks on the year. He's hit six batters. His first offering to Sergio Natera. This is for ball one. So two away here as we get this game underway. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. Let's set the conk defense for you. Daniel Varela behind the plate. Trevor Zelch at first. Landon Lowe at second. Preston Hurst over at third. And Kai Smith is your shortstop. The 1-1 swung on and lifted foul. Down the right field line. It stays in the ballpark. Zelch gave it a look, but way too far away from him. Can't make that grab. And the count moves to one and two. In the outfield for your conks, Andon Rady back in left field. Nate Barroso in center. And Jaden Birchfield is in right field. Two down here. The count one ball and two strikes. Lucky bounces this one in front of the plate for ball two. Lucky's only other start came on oh. April 2nd. Was swung on and just getting a piece of it is Terra. Fouls it at the feet of Varela. That was against Hernando. And that day, Lucky went just two and two third innings. So only his second start. This pitch is a little bit low. Ball three. Three balls, two strikes here. Two away, we're in the top of the first. Barroso comes home, See you, baby. and a miss. They'll strike him out. His second strikeout here of the first inning, and he makes quick work of the Knights in the top of the first. For Keysgate, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. 
Played a half inning, no score. Conks coming up for their first cuts when we return in 90 seconds. It's Conk baseball right here on the zone, 97.7 WAVK. Here come the Conks as we head to the bottom of the first inning. No score here as Lucky Barroso made quick work of the night. So stop the first and tired them. One, two, three. Here's again your Conk batting order leading things off, playing shortstop Kai Smith. He'll be followed by Landon Lowe, the second baseman, and then the catcher Daniel Barella. Four, five, and six guys. The third baseman, Preston Hurst. Now right fielder, Jaden Birchfield. And the first baseman, Smith. Trevor Zelch. Seven, eight, nine. The center fielder, Nate Barroso. The left fielder, Andrew Brady. And the DH is Michael Alfonso. And the Conks will face Austin Yeber. Austin's a junior, stands 6'1". He's a righty. And Judd, he's making his first appearance of the year. Richie Benavidi is saying he's not going to use any of his other starting pitching here in this series. And he'll give Austin an opportunity. And fires uh, this pitch, and it's a little bit low. Ball one to Kai Smith. Kai now batting 270 on the year with eight RBIs, a couple of doubles. Moved into that leadoff spot last night after the late scratch of Spike Pellicier. The pitch is high, ball two. He had a very good day at the plate yesterday, a couple of hits, a single, a double. He worked out a walk. He scored two runs. He was originally going to bat in the nine hole last night, but when Spike had to be taken out before the game, they moved him up to lead up spot and he had a really good night that one misses ball three so three balls and no strikes here on a sun drenched day here in key west beautiful it really is 3-1 gets across the plate for a strike so kai was taking all the way there. as a team the conks are batting 252 on the year we had another home run last night the young man standing on deck landon love Pitches inside, ball four, he's walked up. Now to bat, number four, second baseman. So Landon Smith on Lowe. board again in this series, and he'll head down and see his first base coach, Drew Haggard. Gives him a nice pat on the back. Over in the third base box, Ralph Enriquez Jr., the skipper, Ralph Enriquez in front of the dugout, and Hawks bench coach, Dexter Butler. Here's Landon Lowe batting right at 400. And he was ready to take a hack and corkscrews this one uh, behind himself and rolls over to the skipper, Ralph Enriquez, in front of the Conk dugout. He'll pick it up and fire it back to the pitcher there. What a night for Landon last night. He went four for four, three singles, and then in the fourth inning, he blasted a shot, a two-run homer, just to the left of the scoreboard in left field. And it was a no-doubter. Yep. Just an out such an outstanding year for the senior batting at 400 so he's the only conk batting 400 jet but he's the only conk batting over 300 as well yep. as his pitch misses ball one leads the team in rbis with 20 as well as doubles with eight also in triples with three and picked up that first home run of the year last night 
awaits the 1-1. One, one. Oh, and he just got hit. Oh, man. He spins out of the way there, and it, it plunks off the number four on his back. But he's okay, and he'll head down to the first base back. Yep, it might be a long day at the ballpark. So Landon on board, and he'll head down to that first base bag, and that'll bring up Daniel Varela. Cox winning last night by the final score of 7-2 to and pounded out 10 hits along the way to that victory. And right now we get the first two guys on board via a walk and a hit by pitch. Here's a slow roller to the third baseman. He'll tag Kai Smith going past him and then fire over to first. Nice play there by Sergio Natera. And they'll score a double play there. They'll put it in your books, DP 5-3 there. As Natera fields it, Kai Smith, he tags out, and then fires the now first to and complete the double 10, play. Third baseman, now at Hurst. second with two away is Landon Lowe. So that really helps out their pitcher. Oh, no struggling kidding. to yeah. start here with a walk and a hit batter. And that brings up Preston Hurst. As you always say, the pitcher's best friend. Yeah. A double play. So let's not let him off the hook here as he delivers this one low. It gets by the catcher, Telly, and gets back to the backstop, and that'll allow Low to move down to the third baseman. He's scoring that fastball. Okay. Just yeah, he has a glove on it, I guess. Yeah, it went, went right, down through, to his went right through the wicket. Preston last night, he was on board three times. He had an RBI single, he had a double, he scored a run. He also was hit by a pitch again last night. Yep. That was the 13th time this year he's been plunked. And that ties a single season record set by Kyle Snow a few years ago. So if he gets hit one more time, he'll break it. He'll, he's in the record book now, tying yeah. Kyle and Snow. And we got to go back and look at the last two years to see if he's been plunked any before that to see if he's going to get come close to the career record. 2 0 is outside, ball three. Nothing. Uh, the good thing, you know, when you look at Landon over there, I mean, he, he, he did get hit in the back, but, but Yeaver is not throwing very hard. Uh, no. Yeah, no. so. This is batting practice. Let's see if they, if they unleash Hurst here, who's batting 266 on the year. The three are not even close. And that's a wild pitch yep. that the catcher can't corral. Coming home to score is Landon Lowe. And the Conks have the early one nothing lead here. So Hurst walks, and Lowe's able to score. And now that pitch that, landed a, a, a few right feet fielder, in front Jayden of the plate. And Arturo Montelli, the catcher, could not corral it. So the inning is extended for Jaden Birchfield. Jaden yesterday was 0 for 2, but did pick up an RBI with a sacrifice fly. Hawk right fielder. Tall, lanky righty awaits the pitch. Yaver comes home. Ball is swung on, hit hard, but right at the shortstop. Fielded by Mendez. He throws it high, going up in the air and coming down with it was Marco Gonzalez. And as he comes down, he gets the foot on the bag and saves the throw from Hernandez. And the inning will come to a close. But the Conks are able to pick up a run without a hit this inning. There were no errors, and one man was left on the base pads. We already got one in the books here on this bright, sunny, shiny day here in Key West. As we head to the second, it's Key West 1. Keysgate nothing. We're back in 90 seconds here on your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK.
baseball on the zone, WAVK 97.7 on a bright, sunshiny Saturday afternoon here in Key West. Final regular season game of the year for both Key West and Keysgate. Hawks lead one to nothing as we move to the top of the second. Ariel Rosario looked at the first pitch from Lucky Barroso for a strike. He'll take a hack at the second offering. He'll foul it away for strike two. Four, five, and six guys for the Knights in their half of the second. Following Rosario will be Julian Hernandez and Arturo Luna. The 0-2 swung on, and that one is fouled just past the Keysgate's head coach there, Richie Benavides, in his sixth season as the skipper here. He's coaching over in the third base box today. Foul and the count remains 0-2. This ball is swung on and hit hard and into right field. Going the other way is Rosario. And he has the first hit of the ball game for either team. A leadoff single here in the second. Lucky just left that fastball a little too nicely over the plate there. Julian Hernandez. Right field. Rosario had a hit last night. He was one for three at a double here. Picks up a hit with a single to start the second inning. So they get the tying run aboard for Julian Hernandez, the DH. That ball's hit back up the middle. Fielding it there is Landon Lowe, and he tags the runner. Uh, he waited for the runner to get to him uh, in Ariel Rosario. He'll get the out there, but he can't get the throw over to first base in time. He may have been better served there, Judd, to just quickly tag the bag and then fire to first for the double play so Conks can't turn the DP. Yeah, you know, it now is Batman what it is. It's one of those nonchalant plays. Arturo he Luna. thought he had a little bit more time. I think he did, yeah. yeah. But that's okay. We got There's one, one away, yeah. Here's another slow grounder. It's back to the pitcher. Barroso will go to second for now one. Back to first. There we go. Play. That's the lucky DP, baby. Score at one, four, three on the double play and for the second inning in a row. Despite giving up a hit this inning, Barroso retires the Knights 1-2-3. No runs on one hit, there were no errors, and nobody left on base. Quick top of the second, we'll head to the bottom of the second. Still Key West 1, Keysgate nothing, back in 90 seconds here. On your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK. We move to the bottom of the second inning. Key West leading Keysgate by the score of one to nothing. Trevor Zelch is at the plate. He looks at the first offering from Austin Yeaver, and it's high ball one. It's Zelch followed by Nate Barroso and, <coughs> pardon me, Andon Rady, our six, seven, and eight guys. Here's the 1 0 to Trevor. And that's way high again, ball two. Austin Yeaver back out on the hill, making his uh, first start of the year for the Knights. He did get a big double play that really helped him out in the top of the first inning. He threw 14 pitches. Here's the 2-0, a big swing and a miss, and Trevor was going downtown on that one. Came do, you, up empty. do you think, like Austin said to Coach, listen, I know you don't want to throw any of our starters over the weekend. Let me just throw one. Give me, give me, give me a, a shot. Ball. Maybe. Give me a shot. Yeah. 
Trevor batting 231 on the year with seven ribbies. Awaits this slow breaking ball, and it's a little low, ball three. Because remember, we saw another one of their pitchers last night that had. Yeah, yeah, they throw. closed out the game. He hadn't, <laughs> he hadn't pitched uh, all year either. Three balls and one strike. This ball is hit hard by Zelch. That's going to drop in for a hit for Key West and roll all the way close to the 315 sign down the left field line. He'll easily cruise in with a stand up double. Got a little closer than I would have liked. No, I was to say, their left fielder got to the ball in a heartbeat. That was a great, made throw, a great like, throw. Yeah, Corum really got to that quickly. Yeah. As Zilch uh, is able to get in with a stand up double. There's our first hit of the ball game. We'll set that uh, Keysgate defense for you. We haven't done that yet. As Nate Barroso will dig in there. Nate Barroso was going to be the DH in last night's ball game, but got moved into center field when Spike got scratched. Did a great job. He really did. He's really been handling himself well at the plate. Had another big hit last night. He had a big two RBI double. He also laid down a beautiful sacrifice bunt that set up the first run of the game for he may be doing it here. Let's see. He he's showing it. Yeah, well, it's stuff that we've been working on, and the, and the Conks have been uh, really working on that bunting, and, it, and you can see how it's starting to pay off. Barroso batting 289 on the year with nine ribbies. He shows that bunt again, and he puts the bat on the ball but bounces it off the plate and foul. One. Time for the Ramona's Conk Creations Fashion Report, brought to you, of course, by Ramona's Conk Creations, locally owned and taking care of all those conks for 50 years. It's been in business since 1971. We'll let you know what everybody's wearing here on this Saturday afternoon after this next offering to Nate Barosa. Count no balls in one strike, and he's squaring around to bunt again. Here's the pitch, and he will get the bat on the ball, and it's a perfect bunt. Back to the pitcher, Yeaver. Whoa. Just gets it there. Boy, he just gets it there. I don't know. He may have pulled the first baseman off the bag. Looks like he's out, but once again, Barroso lays down a perfect sacrifice bunt, and that moves Zilch. He's 90 feet away as he's over at third base, and that'll set up now Anthony Brady. Brady last Anthony Brady. night, he was 0 for 3, but boy, did he get robbed. He hit a ball straight away center field that Alejandro Calapa somehow caught. And he's going to go right back to center field here. Deep ball not as far this time. Backing up close to the warning track is Calapa. He'll make the grab, but Rady does the job. And he'll pick up an RBI on the sack fly to straight away center field. And the Conks now lead 2 to nothing. Good job by Rady. Get the ball out of the infield, and that's exactly what he did. That's RBI number 10 on the year for Andon. So now two away, nobody on the base pass for Michael Alfonso, who has not swung the bat in a couple of weeks. Michael Alfonso. He'll get him some work at the plate here. Of course, Alfonso will start the big game on Tuesday in the district tournament. Look at that pitch low, ball one. Conks are wearing the road uh, red tops, pullover top, Key West written across the front in gray, white trim. Gray numbers on the back of the shirt, also in white trim. They're wearing the white pants with the red pinstripes today. The red leggings and the all red cap with the connecting KW and white. This ball is swung on, and that's got a chance to get into the gap, and it will in right center field and go all the way to the wall for Alfonso. He's thinking about three. Oh, no, he'll hold up at two. He had three, but you know what? You don't want to take a chance of him running extra bases. Right. No, we don't want to have no. anything no. go wrong with Michael. And exactly. He'll pull up at second base and with a double. Now to bat number three. And that's his fourth stop. double nice. of the year. Yeah, nice. Good swing by Michael. And the Conks will bring in a courtesy runner for the DH. And it's back to the top of the order for Kai Smith. Judd will have the Keysgate uniforms uh, tonight. Uh, here or this afternoon. One moment. As Kai worked out a walk and his first at bat digs in there from that right hand side. Gaber looks at the runner at second and he almost hits him there with a high inside fastball. All right, Judd, what is Keysgate in today? Well, you know, they didn't have to wash their uniforms because we're playing on turf, so uh, we're wearing the same exact thing except we're wearing a solid blue legging. We got the gray pants with the blue stripe down, all right? And we've got a pullover jersey that's got the yellow stripe going down. 
blue with yellow numbers, Keys Gate on front in yellow. We've got a solid blue cap up top with a yellow dot, the yellow little button up top. Wow, you're getting it. really into And that, yeah. a yellow bill and a yellow KG. All right, we've got uh, the yellow numbers on the bottom left of the pullover jersey. All right, right, so I don't say the vested jersey as Rick would. Well, you called it a vest last night. last night. It clearly it's wasn't the a vest. same uniform we wore last yeah. night. Two. <laughs> All right, ball three. And that is your fashion report brought to you by Conk, uh, Ramona's Conk Creations in Sears Town. They are open Monday through Friday from uh, 11 to 5.30 p.m. They are the Conk School Spirit Store. You can always get that famous red uh, Key West ball cap with the famous connecting KW in white at Ramona's. That pitch is in there for strike one. Who's running out there at, at second base? I can't get the number. Oh, they, they can't even pitch run for Michael. No, no, that is Michael. That's Michael came Michael. right back yeah. out. He just went to He's the dugout. There's no yeah. courtesy runner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not for the DH. No. He's got no, he, go. he, he walked off the field and yeah, he came he, back. He had to give him. his yeah. gloves up. No, I got you. Didn't want to put him in his pocket? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Three, one. No, oh, that hit him. And he got hit, and, and Smith tried to get out of the way, and that's off his hip, and he'll get plunked here. Good thing about being plunked, it's not going to hurt today. Yeah, it's not coming in that, that hard. Uh, but uh, still, you know, you don't want to get hit. No. And he gets he gets uh, now hit there and went down to the first base bag. Second low. batter that Gaber has hit. So Gaber, two walks and two hit batters in the game here. Bonks have got two runs on the board, lead two to nothing. So now runners at first and second. Setting up Landon Lowe. He's the other guy who got hit by a pitch in this ball game that happened back in the first inning. And he waits the big slow curveball and it's in there for strike one. Landon batting right at 400. Flirting with the number, baby. Yeah. Got to keep it rolling here, Landon. He has had the marvelous senior year. He has been in his own all season long. Gaber working out of the stretch, taking a lot of time. Now comes home. This ball is swung on and popped up on the infield on the right side. Who's going to get it? The first baseman, Gonzalez, calls off the second baseman, Luna. He waits for it to come down, and the inning it comes to an end. But the Conks are able to tack on one more run on At the end two of the hits. Second, there were Key West no Conks errors, running. and two, two were left Keys out Gates on the base zero. mats. We got two in the books. It's now Key West 2, Keys Gate nothing. We're back in 90 seconds here on your home of the Conks, the zone 97.7 WAEK. I turned you off. Nope. Didn't think so. How you doing, young lady? You feeling that you're giving really drives me crazy. You know how we play about the truth. I was having love for the first time that we spoke. You're looking for a girl that'll treat you right. You're looking for in the daytime with the light. You might be the type that will play my cards right. I'll find out by the end of the night. You expect me to just let you hit it, but will you still respect me if you get it? All I can do is try, give me one chance. What's the problem? I don't see the ring on your hand. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm curious about you. You see so much. You want to get in my car, get lost in it. But I'm tired of running. Let's walk for a minute. Baseball on the zone, 97.7 WABK is powered by Florida Keys Electric, serving our hometown Florida Keys since 1988, specializing in residential, commercial, and government projects. The job is too big or small for Florida Keys Electric. Give Raymond and his team a call at 305-296-4028. 
for the Keys best team of professional that, electrical well, contractors. That of course is Florida Keys Electric. We move to the third, Key West leading Keysgate by the score of two to nothing. Bottom of the order for the Knights, Hector Hernandez, Grayson Corum, and Arturo Montelli due to bat here. Lucky beginning his third inning of work, thrown just 20 pitches through the first two innings and delivers the fastball just a little bit low to Hernandez. Ball one. We saw Hector Hernandez come in and pitch in relief last night. Uh, today we see him playing in the shortstop position. Grounds this on a slow roller on the shortstop side of the second base bag, close to the bag. Kai Smith quickly gets to it, fields it, fires over to first, and there's one away. Yeah, nice play by Kai. He had to range way to his now left to get that. One, and he was able to get there. A solid throw to himself. Great stretch by Trevor. Some flexibility out there, something his dad never had when he played for me. All right, I don't understand that, but you know, supposed to be the family genes. Here's Brayson Corum. He'll take that pitch in there for strike one. <laughs> He's laughing over there. He knows. He knows what I'm talking about. That pitch will miss <laughs> for ball one. Corum had a good day for the Knights last night. He went two for three, a couple of singles, and he scored both their runs. He'll take a big hack here, strike two. That win last night for Key West, 7-2 to two over Keysgate, was our 10th win in a row over the Knights. This pitch is into the carpet, front of the plate, ball two. Conks now lead the all-time series against Keysgate, 17 wins to just two losses. Ah, oh, strike him out looking. See ya. That's the third strikeout of this ball game. Now it's about Lucky Barroso, who is firing meetings up there Montiel. on this Saturday afternoon. Yeah, look for Lucky to go to about four innings today. That's what I think is the game plan. Yeah, Ralphie was saying, uh, telling me earlier today, he's, he's thinking about 60 pitches or so for Lucky today. Like they they want to make going. sure that if, you know, they don't want him to throw more than you know, what would be, could be allotted for him to be able to be available to pitch on Tuesday. That pitch is in there for strike one. And just 20 pitches coming into this inning. And, you know, he has given up a hit, but he's retired the side one, two, three, though. First two innings, and is one out away from doing that again here in the third. Because that pitch is low ball two. Two balls and one strike. Big swing and miss. Strike two. The Conks 2-0 this year against Keysgate. Remember, we went up there earlier in the year back in early March and won that crazy extra inning game. Come on, come on. This ball is swung on and chopped foul down at the feet of the hitter, Arturo Montelli, who did not play in last night's game. So the count remains at two balls and two strikes. Conks looking to extend this win streak to four games here. Today. See ya! Swing and a miss, they'll strike him out. Put it on the board, four Ks for Lucky Barroso, and once again retires the Knights, one, two, three. Four Keysgate, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Quick moving ball game on this Saturday afternoon. We'll move to the bottom of third. It's still Key West two, Keysgate nothing. We're back in 90 seconds here on your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK. Congrats to Jen. I don't care if we never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win it today, now it's one, two, Nelly Kelly loved baseball games, knew the players, knew all their names. You could see her there every day, shout hooray when they played. Her boyfriend by the name of Joe said to Coney Isle, dear, let's go. Then Nelly started to fret and pound.
It's Conk Baseball on the home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK on this bright, sunshiny Saturday afternoon. Conks have a 2 0 lead as we head to the bottom of the third. It'll be Daniel Morella, Preston Hurst, and Jake Birchfield. That's our 3, 4, and 5 guys. Austin Yaver still on the hill in his first outing this year for Keysgate. Daniel Varela. Had a crazy line here as he's walked to. He's hit two batters. He's given up two hits and two runs. There you go. Yeah, could be a lot worse for him. Exactly. I'm surprised he's made it through two. So he's gotten through two. Here's Daniel Varela. One, one thing that helped him out was uh, in Daniel's last at bat when in back at the first inning when he hit Kai, when he walked Kai Smith and hit Landon Lowe, Varela grounded into a double play that helped him get out of that mess. So Daniel 0 for 1 here today. He'll wait for this pitch and it gets on the outside portion of the plate for strike one. one, one. 17 pitches the last inning. The 1-1. One, one. And that one bounces a couple of feet in front of the plate for ball two. So 31 pitches for Yaber through the first two innings here. And he's keeping his team in the ball game. I think they right made now. a change at shortstop. Uh, they did. Yeah. They, they yeah. brought in uh, the uh, young man who played there last night. The ball was swung on. That's a top play. Up in a shallow center field. Can anybody find it? Oh, in the what sun? a catch. And what a catch. Alejandro Calapa has made another Sports Center grab here. He made that incredible catch last night to rob Andon Rady when he banged into the fence straightaway center field. This time, nobody can find that ball going into shallow uh, center field now there. The second 10, baseman, the right baseman, fielder, and the center fielder first. converging. Luna never saw it, the second baseman, and in the last second, diving forward on his belly was Calapa. He makes the grab and robs Varela of a hit. So there's one away here. Nice catch by Kalapa again. As Preston looks at the first pitch. Uh, do you call that a ball? Yes. Yeah, ball one. Gaber comes home with the 1-0. This one bounces in the dirt or into the carpet in front of the plate for ball two. Preston worked out a walk and he's won at that. Back to the first inning again. Everything here th this weekend is getting yourself prepped and prepared for the district tournament, which begins on Tuesday for Key West of both clubs. Pitch is high, ball three. Three balls and no strikes. Got a little action going on in the pen. Yeah, they got some, uh, yeah, Keysgate has some action there. I think they're trying to get him to go through three if he can. That's Michael Malagon who is now playing short for Keysgate, and he'll walk Preston here on four pitches. So now second time, Preston has worked out a walk here. Jaden Birchfield. 18 walks on the year for Preston. The Conks get another runner on board to see if we can move him along. Here's Jaden Birchfield, who's 0 for 1. Grounded out to short, and he's 1 at bat. Ball is swung on, and that's looped into left field. That's going to drop in for a hit for Birchfield. Nicely placed by Jaden. Single moves Preston up to second. So a walk and a hit. Now to bat number 24. Sets First up Trevor Zelt. Trevor Zelt. a double and scored. First run of the ball game for Key West back in the first inning. But getting back to the district tournament again, it all gets underway for Key West on Tuesday. It's a 3.30 start time against Miami Springs. Springs did win their final regular season game yesterday. They beat Coral Reef. They did beat Coral Reef. Six to three. Oh, 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 man, Trevor just got hit in the back. Goes square into the numbers as he tries to spin away from that one. And that's the third batter that Yaber has now hit. And the bases are full of conks here. So the conks setting up for a big inning here as Nate Barroso will come to the plate. We know Nate will be swinging away this time. So Yaber's now hit three batters, one in each inning that he's been on the hill. Now he's swinging now away, no punts or anything here really now. Nathan he had Barroso. A, Barroso had a, another big hit last night. He had a two RBI double. See if we can open this thing up a bit here. 
Texas pitch sales high, ball one. So I had a little confusion with Miami Springs' record um, uh, that uh, Max Preps has them at nine wins, but the high school baseball network has them at ten. <laughs> so they're right at, right at five at that 500 mark. We'll go with 10 and 10. His ball is swung on and ripped back up the middle. Another big hit for Nate DeRoso. Should score two. Hurst comes home easily, followed by Jaden Birchfield. It's a two RBI single off the bat of Nate DeRoso, and the Conks now lead four to nothing. Hey, hey! Big Nate drills that fastball right back up the middle. Scores two runs with the RBIs. Good job, Nate. Hurst easily scoring. Birchfield with great speed. Comes right behind him, and he'll score. Trevor Zelch will now hold off at seven, second base. Fielder, so Andy runners Reed. now at first and second. And for Barroso, RBIs number 10 and 11 on the year for Andon Rady. Rady picked up another RBI for himself in his first at bat in this game. And an RBI sack fly out in the center field, and he'll take that pitch in there for strike one. So Barroso, who is... Come on big time for Key West down the stretch. Comes away with another big hit. Conks now lead four to nothing. This pitch well outside. Ball one. So Key West has to go on the road for the district tournament. We'll play the host team, Miami Springs. The other game in our district will feature St. Brendan's at 11 and, 11 and 11. They're the number one team playing the number four seed, Miami Sunset, that's 0 and 16 on the year. Be able to step off the rubber and look the runner back at second base. So, you know, you never want to assume anything in baseball, but you got to think not, that St. Brendan's yeah, is well, I'm probably going to win that game. Hey, miracles happen. They do. This pitch is high. Well, do you remember a couple of years ago? Columbus had that all world team and they were finished the regular season at like 23 and 2. Yeah, and they lost in the semis. And they lost uh, to a team, Braddock, that had won six games all year in the in the district semifinals. So. And I got a better one for you. Okay. Two balls and one strike to Andon. Conks young left fielder awaits this pitch and it's high ball three. You remember when uh, Mr. Swafford got injured? When Todd called the ball. Oh, they ball. call the balk? Oh, yeah. okay. So take that, that last pitch off the board. A balk has been issued to Yeber. So both runners will advance. Zelch will move over to third, and Barroso now at second. Anyways, you remember when Mr. Swafford got injured up on the press box? Uh, who could forget it? He still claims that I gave him a little shove. A little miracle? Yeah, yeah. Now you got the opportunity to work <laughs> for me. There you go. See, it's a miracle. True blue skeptical of a miracle well, come true. What does that have to do with a big win? There it is. It's is a big, big win. win? I became That's, the voice yeah. of the Conks. Yeah. It's a big win for me. This ball is oh, swung on yeah. and lifted deep by Rady. Uh, but it's playable, though, in left field for Corum. He'll make the grab. Tagging up over at third and coming home to score is Trevor Zelch. And the Conks now lead 5 to nothing. RBI number two in the game for Andon Rady in his second RBI sack fly of the ball game. Brady getting it done. Now it's about do Brady, Jason Yarbrough. Yeah, you know, and I remember that night. That was back in 2006. And when we used to do the games on top of uh, the 11 Time Cafe, as Michael Alfonso, no, he's not coming up. Uh, the Michael's Yarbrough. Gone. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring in uh, uh, Jason Yarbrough to hit here. Yarbrough did have a chance in the game last night. He flew out to right field. He'll swing at the first pitch and pop it up on the right-hand side. Waiting for it to come down is the first baseman, Marco Gonzalez. He'll make the grab, and the inning will come to a close. But the Conks are able to tack on three more runs here on two hits. There were no errors, and we left one man out on the base pass. We've played three. It's now Key Conks West five. five. Keys gate nothing. Zero. We're back in 90 seconds right here on your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK.
spot number 21, center fielder Alejandro Calalpa. We got three in the books. Key West leading Keysgate by the score of five to nothing as we go to the top of the fourth. And it's back to the top of the order for the Knights. Alejandro Calapa will swing at the first offering from Lucky Barroso and foul it away down the third base line for strike one. It's their one, two, and three guys, Marco Gonzalez and Sergio Matera, also due to bat here this inning for the Knights. Barroso, he has uh, had worked it perfectly so far. This ball is swung on, knocked down by the shortstop. Great play there by Kai Smith to knock it down as he tried to get up and, and pick the ball up. He just couldn't complete the, couldn't field it again. That'll be a, a single, an infield single for Kalapa who ripped that one. Uh, but just to the, just on the uh, shortstop side of the second base bag, First base going down to the Marco ground, Hernandez. knocking it down was Kai. He almost makes an acrobatic play, but that'll go in the books as a hit for Kalapa. Coach, Second hit of the game. Coach Russ Milliken's telling me the field looks absolutely gorgeous during the daytime on the TV. So thank you, Russ. Appreciate that. Go back and eat your chocolate chip cookies. This ball is swung on and hit out in the right field and uh, making his way through the sunshine and getting underneath it is... Jaden Birchfield, he'll make the grab, and there's one away as Marco Gonzalez flies out. Yeah, now speaking that, of Russ, and you were mentioning the night that, so that Todd Nantera. went off the back of the press box, I'm sure Todd, who's producing the game, loves reliving this story. That was one, that was I didn't say anything that was a about Friday what happened. Night. You're the one saying everything. Yeah. And we used to broadcast the games on top of the 11-time cafe. And we were, we were done with the game. It was a Friday night game. It was. Against uh, Russ's uh, four still Falcons. Quick toss again over the bag. Runner back in safely. As we were putting stuff away inside the press box, Todd had this one bag that he used to uh, carry all his his notes and stuff in, and he had set it down near the back side of the roof there. There goes the runner to throw down to second base. I think it's a time, and it out. is. Daniel Varela has just gunned down Alejandro Calapa trying to steal the second base bag. Great throw by Varela. But we could have a one, two, three inning. Right. <laughs> well, he's faced the minimum so right. far, Judd. Yeah, exactly. Now with that caught, gunned him down there. Matera waits for this pitch, and it misses for a ball. So Todd handed me some gear, and I walked into it and put it inside uh, the booth, and then when I came back out, Todd was disappeared. Pitch misses a little low outside. Ball three. Todd, where are you, Todd? <laughs> and he tripped over his bag and fell straight on his back to that little uh, bathroom building underneath there. This ball is chopped down to first base. Pulls uh, Selch off the bag. It should have ended the inning, and that'll go in the books as an error. As Kai Smith fielded it, his throw went up the first base line yeah. toward right field and that pulled Selch off the bag and there's your first now error. Now to bat number two, yeah. so right fielder, Kai had Ariel a lot more time Rosario. than he thought and just rushed that throw. So unless you pick him off over here at first base, uh, that'll end the streak of one, two, three innings here for Rosa. Yeah, he's not stealing. That pitch gets in there for a strike. Anyway, uh, Todd had went off the back, uh, off the back of that one roof onto fell about 10 feet uh, or so uh, straight on his back on the, the other little roof there. Swung on, fouled away. And, uh, and I remember Russ there with us and coming up and getting Todd out of there. Yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, led to the vertigo issues that Todd then suffered. Yeah, <laughs> battled his way back. Well, let's relive everything there, Lopez. But despite the rumor, there was no gentle shove of Todd. Ball that's gone on. Fouled away. Todd, listen, I feel for you, buddy. Okay, and uh, you know, I said the good Lord has blessed me with you and Lopez, and wow, thank you, Todd. He's the best, Todd Swaffer. Yes, who, he is. You know, brought me in and back in 1998, and been here ever since. What a ride! The O2 swung on and lifted deep out there. In left center field, but it is playable. Nate Barroso will cut in front of Rady. He'll make the grab, and the inning will come to a close. 
So once again, Lucky keeps him off the scoreboard. No runs on one hit. There was one error. It didn't hurt and one man left on base. We played three and a half. It's still Key West five. Keys gate nothing. We're back in 90 seconds here on your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WADK. the bottom of the fourth we go it's conk baseball here on the zone 97.7 wadk as we head to that bottom of the fourth with key west leading five to nothing it'll be top of the order for the conks kai smith followed by landon Lowe and daniel varello wherever you're tuned in along the way glad to have you aboard rick and judd here at the ballpark legendary voice of the conks todd swafford producing uh, the game as always and Austin Yeaver will stay in the game and pitch again for the Knights, and he fires this one into the carpet in front of the plate of Kai for ball one. Just a little one. Kai's been on board uh, both times without a hit. Uh, he's worked out a walk, and he's been hit by a pitch. Yeaver has walked three guys and hit three guys. In between there, the Cocks have come up with four hits and five runs. That pitch will get in there for a strike. You know, and speaking of, of Russ and, and Forest Hills, Judd, I think the last time we played an afternoon game here at the Rex was against those Falcons. Yeah, it probably was because, you know, Russ, he wants to play. A, it wasn't an afternoon game. I guarantee you it was an 11 a.m. game. <laughs> All right, cause he they would to, come in at the yeah. end of the season as that pitch got in there for a strike with Kai Smith, and we played Friday night and then an early game on Saturday. Oh, that does look good on the uh, live stream. Yeah. Thank you, Russ. This ball is hit hard by Kai Smith. He's going to get on board again. He finds the hole between first and second base, and it's a leadoff single for Kai Smith. Boy, does he look good in that leadoff spot the last two games. Yes, he does. Now to bat number four, second baseman. a big pat on the back up from his first base coach, Drew Hager. Yeah, so it's been a while since we played a day game here at Rex Beach Field. But you couldn't ask for a better day today. I mean, it's just... It's bright, sunshiny day, but there's a really nice breeze in the ballpark that keeps the heat down. As Landon digs in there, and he'll look at this one inside, ball one. Landon got on board in the first inning when he got hit by a pitch, and he scored a run. Officially, he's 0 for 1 as he popped up to the first baseman in his second at bat in the second inning. The 1 out. Off speed, breaking ball stays high, ball two. The Knights continue to have action down in their pen. Hawks have scored runs in each and every inning so far. One in the first, one in the second, three more in the third. Lando's got the count, two balls and no strikes. Senior is taken all the way there for strike one. Two balls, one strike here. We told you about the Hawks and getting underway in District 16 4A on Tuesday. Ball is hit hard by Landon. It's gloved over there by the third baseman. will go to second for one, but they cannot 
turn two. Hits it on the screws and rips it, but right at Natera, who was up for the task. As he fields it, he gets the lead runner at second for the fielder's choice, and there's one away. Yeah, he had a little tough time getting out of his glove right there. Now it's about they were unable 19, to turn the double catcher, play, but he's Daniel able to get Barilla. the lead runner. So one away, now low over at first base, and that'll bring up Daniel Varela. Hit into a double play in his first at bat, and then was robbed of a hit in his second at bat in the third inning on a great catch by their center fielder. This time he lifts this one high into left field, waiting for it to come down as Corum. He'll make the grab, and there's two away. Varela will jog back to the dugout. And Preston Hurst will have an opportunity here in the fourth inning. Preston now been on board both 10, times with, a, walk, with a couple of walks. And he scored a run. Good crowd on hand here. Not nearly as big as the crowd we had last night. We think last night was our biggest crowd of the year. Yeah, by far. It was a great crowd here for that foul game. Ball. Oh. Foul ball. Yeah, it's a foul ball. It is ball was high and inside and I know what you were thinking Preston, Lopez. <laughs> Preston was just trying to check his swing and it goes off his bat there anytime I see that I always think of the great Willie Stargell and that's famous he was remember he was ducking under a pitch and went off his bat and fouled it away and he just stood there and looked at the bat <laughs> there goes the runner on the slow breaking ball to be a stolen base for Landon Lowe as that pitch was low and outside for ball one. So Landon gets into scoring position as he sw swipes the second base bag. First steal of the game for Key West. And the ninth swipe of the year for Landon. One ball and one strike. Was I dating myself mentioning Willie Stargell? You always, date, a little bit? you always date yourself, sir. Yeah. You know, pops. pops. Uh, the, King of the Hill. Great Pittsburgh Chicken Pirate. on the Hill. Yeah. Spread some chicken on the hill, Willie. Bob Prince's call on the radio when he wanted a home run from Willie Stargell. And there was a chicken restaurant every time that in, in Pittsburgh that Willie would hit a home run. They'd give out free chicken to anybody that was in their restaurants. And that was that call. Spread some chicken on the hill, Willie. I love that guy. Willie Stargell, one of my all-time favorite players. Pitches low. Ball three. Three, ball, three balls and one strike. <laughs> to Preston Hurst. Oh, boy. And he's trying to get that breaking ball going, and it's it, it's not coming in very hard. It just wouldn't break. It just hung up there way high. Ball four. So Preston now to that, number 22, on board all right three fielder, times tonight Jay with walks. So he's down at first base and now runners at first and second for Jaden Birchfield. He's one for two today. Jaden had a single and scored a run back in the third inning. Gaver will continue to work out of the stretch and come home with this pitch. And it's inside ball one. No strikes here for the senior, Jaden Birchfield. He'll take a hack at this one and chop it down the third baseline. Matera up with it, throws across his body, and their third baseman's made a couple of nice plays, and he makes one there, and that'll retire the side as Birchfield grounds out the third to end the inning. For Key West, for the first time in this game, Conks are held off the scoreboard. No runs on one hit. There were no errors of this inning, and uh, two men were left out on the base pads. We've played four complete. It's Key West 5, Keysgate nothing, back in 90 seconds here. On your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK. Hey.
Now to bat, number six, Julian Hernandez. On to the fifth we go. The fifth inning of every conch baseball game is brought to you by First State Bank of the Florida Keys. Key West leading here as we start the fifth by the score of five to nothing. The second offering from Lucky Barroso to Julian Hernandez is ripped back up the middle for a leadoff now to single. 52, second baseman, Arturo That's the third hit of the game for the Knights. We're into the First State Bank of the Florida Keys fifth inning, brought to you by First State Bank of the Florida Keys, 11 locations, Keys wide. Last and only locally owned bank in the Keys and been serving all his conks since 1955. Arturo Luna could not check his swing there. He goes around for strike one. So five, six, and seven guys. Hernandez the DH with the leadoff single. Second baseman Arturo Luna at the plate. We'll take this pitch inside. Ball one. Luna hit into a double play back in the second inning. Also due to bat is their seven hitter, the shortstop. Malagon, who's coming into the game, didn't start the game, but he's on deck. As this pitch is high, ball two for Lucky. We, we think this is his last inning, Judd. Right. Uh, as comes into the fifth, having thrown 44 pitches. Ralphie didn't want him to go more than 60 here today. The 2 1. He's been pretty efficient here as that one is in there for strike two. Face one, two, three in the first, second, and third. And the most uh, batters he had to face was four in the fourth. The ball was swung on and fouled back into the netting, and the count remains with two balls and two strikes. <laughs> Mentioned that with the Conks and what they've got to do in their district tournament for Keysgate, they're trying to do something they've never done before in the school's history, and that's make the state playoffs in baseball. Is that pitch? Miss for ball three. Three balls and two strikes. When they began district play from 2014 to 2019, oh, that pitch is inside, ball four. So a single and a walk have put the first two guys on board for Keysgate. And here comes the skipper, Ralph Enriquez. First walk issued by Lucky goes along with four strikeouts he had. And see if Ralphie makes a move I now. I think he's going and to. He probably at this point yeah. and say good job yeah. lucky we got to make sure we have you available on tuesday so lucky barroso will exit the game here in the fifth inning so he'll go four innings uh, this afternoon and give way to the pen so we got our first pitch and change of the ball game and it's being delivered by domino's pizza domino's didn't stop at pizza and you don't have to either give dale and his team a call here in key west at 305-296-7795 for pickup or delivery, hey, get the door, it's Domino's Pizza. With the Conks leading five to nothing here in the top of the fifth inning, he West will bring in a new pitcher and we'll give him time to warm up. We'll take a 90 second break, don't go away, you're listening to Conk Baseball here on the zone, 97.7.
So the Conks will go to the pen and bring in the senior, Tommy Besson. The lefty will take over for Lucky Barroso. Book is not closed on Lucky as now there's two runners 13, on the base Michael pass right now. If they were able to score, it would be charged to Lucky. But an outstanding job by Lucky today as he goes the first four as Tommy delivers his first pitch to Michael Malagon, who is taken over at shortstop. Hector Hernandez got the start. Malagon, he's a freshman, looks at this pitch, and it's low ball one. Malagon, he started it in last night's game at short. He was one for three as that pitch gets in there for a strike. His one hit was a single. So Tommy Besson comes into the game, one and two on the year with an ERA at 3.71. Big swing and a strike two. Tommy's worked 17 innings, allowed 23 hits, 19 runs, in which nine have been earned. 12 base on balls, 22 Ks, and two hit batters. Look out, Judd, as that one comes directly over our heads and out of play. And the count remains at one ball and two strikes. Tommy been, I think Tommy came up as a freshman, didn't he, Judd? Yes, yes, he's been yeah. here four years. Mm -hmm. Big breaking ball, stays outside, ball two. Anyway, we're talking about, about districts and all teams getting ready for next week, which is a huge week for high school baseball as district play begins. For Keysgate, trying to do something, as this ball has popped up again over our way, and that'll get over the first base dugout. And out of play, and the count remains at two balls and two strikes. Those years that Keysgate, when they first started playing baseball, 2014 through 2019, they were stuck in the same district with us and Gulliver and could not get past either of those schools, us and the Raiders. This ball popped up just beyond the first base dugout in foul territory. Trevor Zelch goes out there like a tight end and waiting for that ball to come down in the end zone and makes the grab. And there's one away. Yep, good job by Trevor to follow that ball. Fight just that catching the pass bit, almost, yep. yeah. So big out there as Malagon is retired. Now to bat number one. Here is fielder, Grayson, Grayson Corum. Corum. So Corum will dig in there from the right-hand side. He struck out looking one of Four strikeouts that Lucky had today. Ball is swung on, hit hard to the shortstop. Could be two. He'll go to one, yep. uh, to the second base bag to get the first out. That's Kai Smith and fire over the first. And there you go. The pitcher's uh, best friend, the double play, a 6 3, and that'll do it for the Knights here in the top of the fifth inning. For Keysgate, no runs on one hit. There were no errors and one man left. We're in the middle of the first day back of the Florida Keys fifth inning. It's still Key West 5, Keysgate nothing. We're back in 90 seconds. On your own box, the zone, 97.7.
bottom of the first day back of the Florida Keys, but then the Hawks looking to build on a 5 0 lead. Due to bad for the U.S., it'll be our 6 7 8 guys from Zelda, Rosso, and Ian Brady. Austin Gaber, the night starter, his day is done, and Richie Benavides will now hand the ball off to the junior, Emilio Rivera, which we saw him on the hill last night. In his first ever work on the hill for the Knights this year, he pitched the sixth inning, kept the Conks off the scoreboard, gave up a hit. He's a little righty, and, and he hits Trevor Zelch, who gets plunked for the second time. And he got today. plunked twice last night. Isn't that crazy? You know? You know that, that Zelch had not been hit by a pitch right. through the entire year. He got hit twice last night. Right. Now he's been hit twice here today. Yeah. Well. He's on board for the third time, tw now two times six, being hit. Fielder, Nathan Barroso. Well, he's officially one for one. Is back in the second inning, he doubled and scored. When he got hit in the third inning, he also scored. Here's Nate Barroso. He had a big two RBI single in his last at bat. Also laid down a nice sacrifice bunt again in this game. He'll take a hack at this one, a slow roller off the end of his bat to the second baseman, Lunas. Oh, no, it. no, and he's not going to get him. And that's just pure hustle by Nate Barroso, who takes nothing for granted. If there's young kids here at the ballpark, you're listening out there, I don't care how you hit it, run it out as hard as you can. And that's what he did as now Luna got to it, kind of almost nonchalantly and a right soft there. toss to the bag. You just made a great yeah. point, Rick, nonchalant. Instead of hustling to the ball to get the throw because you knew you weren't going to turn two. You just take it for granted, yep, right? Exactly. And, and and Nate didn't take it for granted. He worked out an infield single, and Andy Rady follows him. Alyssa, another high and deep one, this time out into right center field. Calapo will make the grab there, but Rady's able to advance a Zelch as he moves to third base. Three so. sacks today for Rady. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Rady with two RBIs and now to his bat, previous 11, two sacks. Williams. This time he does the job again and he moves another runner just 90 feet away, this time in the body of Trevor Zelch. He's at third. Barroso had to hold up at first for Michael Alfonso who ripped a double and has won at bat in the game. We'll look at this pitch, high ball one. Rivera comes home and swing. it's not Alfonso, it's Gabe Williams at the plate. Williams getting a chance and he pops it up to the shortstop. So in that nine hole today, the Conks have had three different batters. Alfonso, who had doubled in the second inning. Jason Yarborough took a hack in the third inning and popped three, up to the first spin. baseman. That's what Gabe Williams does here. So after the first two guys got on board, two quick outs, and we're back to the top of the order for Kai Smith, who's been on board three times what? today. And he takes that slow breaking ball in there for strike one. I think Richie Benavides is pleased with his uh, starter, Austin Yeaver, here today. I guess Joe, so, he yeah. I mean, kid hasn't pitched yet this year. He went four innings. to give up five runs on four hits. No Ks, four walks, three hit batters, but he kept his team in the game. Ball is uh, swung on and missed by Smith, so he's in the hole 0 oh, with two. Yeah. <laughs> Threw 64 pitches. They did. He got was, he was efficient. Yeah. Big breaking ball swung on by Kai. He'll foul it out of play. And the count remains at no balls in two strikes. So Keysgate not using any of their main pitching this series as they're getting ready like Key West for their district tournament, which they will be hosting their district tournament. This pitch is low ball one coming up uh, this week. And Keysgate is the number one seed in District 16 3A. And they will play the winner of the Marathon Somerset Silver Palms game as that pitch is high, ball two. And if he wins that, Keysgate will secure a, a spot in the state playoffs for the first time in school history. The 2-2. Two -two. 
low and outside, ball three. Keysgate has a terrific pitcher, in which we saw back in early May, Horatio Cruz. He's stunned if he didn't start that that first game. This ball is swung gotta get, to, gotta get to the championship. You gotta make sure you're in the championship game. got to you know secure that spot that semifinal game is so so important and for key west you know which is what what's been great to see here down the stretch drive playing our best baseball of the year and trying to hang on for this one and go into the district tournament on a four game win streak something we haven't done this year no. again the ball fouled away and the count remains full and I think, Rick, if I'm not mistaken, we win today, uh, they'll give us a 500 month, which would be nice so far. Yeah, we'll I can make go us back four and look four. at that, yeah. The three, two again, swung on and popped up on the left side of the infield this time. It's playable for the shortstop, Malagon, who comes on to the infield carpet. He'll make the grab, and uh, Emilio Rivera comes into the game and keeps the Conks off the scoreboard here in the fifth. For Key West, Scored no runs fifth, on one hit. Five, there are no errors, eight, and we left two zero. men out on the base pass. That'll do it for the first day bank of the Florida Keys fifth inning. We'll head to the sixth. It's still Key West five, Keys Gate nothing. Back at 97s here on your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 W. It's Conk Baseball here on the zone, 97.7 WAVK. As we head to the sixth here, Key West in the lead by the score of 5 nothing. Tommy Besson, who came in relief of Lucky Barroso, back out for his second inning of work and delivers this first now one to Arturo Montelli. Uh, looks like we got a new hitter up there. We've got to look for the, uh, the number there. Montelli? Right? No, it's not Montelli. No, it's not. Montelli, number, the catcher, who's batting in a nine hole. Uh, this 16. Is 16, who rips it hard, but right at the second baseman. That's Landon Low. He's up for the task. He makes the grab and quickly one away here. So that was Julio Gonzalez. Julio. Hitting in that spot. And he hit it hard, but right at the second baseman. And there's one away. Now to bat, the 21 center fielder, Alejandro Calalpa. So back to the top of the order here for the Knights and their center fielder, Alejandro Calapa, who uh, rips this one into right field. And this young man's had a good weekend here. Not only has he made a couple of really great catches out in center field, uh, he's just picked up his second hit of this game. Yep. Well stroke single into right field. Now to bat number 17, first baseman, Marco Hernandez. With the hit he had last night, he had an RBI double in last night's ball game. So good weekend for Alejandro Calapa. That's the fourth hit of the game for the Knights. And that brings up Marco Gonzalez, their first baseman. I'll take that pitch in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Swung on. A little number off the end of a bat. It's a little tough play there for Landon Lowe as to come in and 
field it. Then it gets a little underhand flip over there to Trevor Zelch to get the out at first, and there's two away. Nothing you can do about Kalapa as he took the second no, base. Yeah, it was one of those that came off the end of the bat, landed a great now job of hustling. That's what we were talking about. The other baseman, play, you know, with Sergio the keys gate, second baseman, he was nonchalant, landed, hustled in, got it, make a nice underhand toss, two down. Here's Sergio Natera with two away here, the third baseman. 0 for 2, struck out in the first, did reach on an error in the fourth. Only one error in this game. Ball is swung on that and lifted drop, into huh? right field. Tough play, long way to no. go for Jaden Birchfield. Yeah. But he's there and makes the grab right on the line there. Good job, Birchy. He's got good speed and he got to that ball, and that'll do it for the Knights here in the sixth inning. For Keysgate, no runs on one hit. There were no errors and one man left on the bases. Man, we've had a quick moving ball game That's here. Keep we'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Still Key West 5, Keysgate nothing. We're back in 90 seconds here on your home of the call. It's the zone, 97.7 WABK. fun at the old ballpark you can't beat it great to have you with us here final regular season game of the year for key west Hawks like to get a couple more insurance runs here as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning key west is leading by the score of five to nothing due to bat uh, for the Conks, landon low he'll be followed by daniel varela and preston hearse our two three and four guys and we'll look at a new pitcher as as we'll see the third pitcher of the game for the knights as Diego Govan takes over, he's a righty, a senior, in relief of Emilio Rivera, who kept the Conks off the scoreboard in his one inning that he pitched. Ooh, that, that was curveball was just a tad high. Yeah. Now, Govan has pitched uh, earlier this year for the Knights. No record, but no ERA, so that means his ERA is infinity. Big swing and a miss for strike one. As uh, he has not, com he did not record an out when he was on the hill earlier this year. He gave up two hits, four runs, three earned. He walked one, no K's obviously. Big breaking ball swung on and lifted into shallow left field. Coming in to make the grab is Andy. Uh, excuse me, uh, for the Knights is Corum, and Landon is retired, and there's one down. Now to bat number 19, catcher. Here's Daniel, Daniel Varela. Varela. Daniel, 0 for 3 today, was robbed of a potential hit back in the third inning on another really nice catch by their center fielder, Alejandro Calapa. So one away. So there's the first out recorded by Diego Govan. So he will get an ERA now. I was going to say, well, that changes the ERA. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you, you, you get an out, uh, yeah. And that first uh, offering was low to Daniel, ball one. So one ball, no strikes. Here to the conk catcher, Daniel Varela, with one away here in the sixth. He'll take a big hack here, come up empty for strike one. One ball and one strike to Varela. 
Govan's got a big high tuck on his leg kick, and, and that breaking ball coming in not very fast, but it broke across <laughs> the plate. <laughs> that it did. <laughs> and it's in there for a strike, so he's got Daniel in the hole, one ball and two strikes. There it is again. You got to try and time it. Varela takes a hack at it, pops it up into shallow left field. Coming in is Quorum. He calls off the shortstop, Malagon. He makes the grab, and there's two down. And that was a great play by Malagon, and I'll tell you why. Because he was back trying to get that pop fly, all right, but the whole time the left fielder was coming in, now calling for it, calling for it, and he ducked out of the way at the very last minute. So that's an infielder listening to his outfielder right there. Yeah, it's all about communication. Yep. And that was well done by the two Keysgate players involved in that one. Now there's quickly two away for Preston Hers, who waits for that slow breaking ball and it bounces on the plate. Ball one. Preston's been on board three times today, all with walks. Yeah, he's trying. He could be four for four perfecto. Well, there there is a term a term in baseball for when you if you strike out in a game four times. Right. The golden, that's the golden sombrero? sombrero. What if you walk? Four I times don't know. That's a great question. You know, we're going to have to write these down to keep them with us every year, right? The immaculate inning is nine pitches, nine, three strikeouts. The golden sombrero, the sombrero. And you're talking about three pitches, three outs. Yeah, no, yeah. no. The immaculate inning is nine pitches, three Ks. Nine pitches, three Ks. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Well, what do you call? Well, I uh, remember Bobby Lowe told us. The oh, one, oh two, that's three. the steak dinner one? Yeah. Big swing and a miss. Strike two. Well, here's the here's the situation with with when you, you got a, a pitcher like Govan come up. All year you've seen nothing but heaters. <laughs> you know you're going at, at you know, pitchers that are throwing you know high 80s into the 90s and and you just got to oh he oh, just got, got it. it. There it is, the new record, folks. <laughs> and Preston Hurst takes a slow breaking two, ball right off the left first leg. Three. That is the 14th time he's got a big smile on his face. That the is a new record. Time he's been hit by a pitch. This se season, setting the new record at Key West High School for the most times a player or batter has been hit in a game. 14. Holy there you cow. go. Scratch that. I'm putting it down. He's, he's all by himself in the record book now. Extends the inning for Birchfield, who rips this one, but right at the shortstop, Malagon, who makes the grab on the fly and the inning will come to a close. You know what we say, Preston? Thank you for the memories. <laughs> well, the that, that, that record could, that, that's, that, that, that could stay. Well, we thought Kyle Snow's record <laughs> would last a long time. <laughs> right. But uh, Preston getting into the record books, being hit by that pitch. That'll do it for the Conks here at the bottom of the six. No runs on no hits. There were no errors, and one man was left. We played six. We'll head to the seventh. He's gate down to their final three outs. Conks leading five to nothing back in 90 seconds here in their home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK. to bat, number two, right fielder, Ariel Rosario. Well, the, your Key West Conks are three outs away from completing the two-game sweep of Keysgate and extending their win streak to four straight. 
Hawks will bring in a new pitcher. Felix Ong will take over, and swinging at the first offering from Ong was Rosario, and what an incredible play by Landon Lowe! A backhand and stab running towards center field, plants his foot somehow across his body, gets a strong throw to first for the out. Hey, hey, what a play, Landon Lowe. My goodness gracious. Yes, sir, Reed. Wow. Reigns is so far to his right, now, past the second base bag, Hernandez. jumps up high in the air, turns, and makes a great throw to first base. Oh, man, you can't do it any better as Ong delivers this fastball to Julian Hernandez inside, and spins him off the plate for ball one. Hernandez one for two today. Looks at this one outside, ball two. So Ong is the third pitcher of the game for Key West, taking over for Tommy Besson, who came in relief of Lucky Barroso back in the fifth inning. Great defensive play to start this inning, and now delivers this one low again, ball three. Felix has spent his time this year down at the JV level, did have one varsity appearance earlier this year. No record, no ERA, 0.00. And he will walk Hernandez on four pitches. Second walk issued by a Kong pitcher in the ball game. Felix worked a third of an inning. No runs, no hits, no earned runs. That was his third walk, though, that he's issued. No Ks yet. So a young man. Oh, oh now, now, now he just hit, hit a batter. So he's a little jacked up coming into the game, and he, it, it quickly Ralphie comes yeah. out of the batter. Let's see what Ralph wants to do here. I think he's just got to tell him, listen, relax, throw to the glove, let your defense do their job. All right? We got a five-run lead, come set, do your thing. So Ralphie out talking with Ong right now and say, hey, just relax. We're up 5 nothing. We need two more outs. Getting a note from our producer, now, Todd Swafford, that uh, is a people. good point, too, gang. Hey, remember, go to our website, the zone 97.7 WABK. We have the archive games for you. We've got pretty much everything back up there now. There are a couple of games that we are missing, but uh, that's due to some technical difficulties. Unfortunately, the Gulliver game is one of them. That pitch is low, ball one. But you can go back and listen. This pitch is into the carpet, ball two. You can go back and listen uh, to all the great games this year. Just go to our website, The Zone 97.7 WABK. You'll see the big archive sign there. And go back and relive these conk games with us. That pitch is in there for a strike. Michael Malagon was scheduled to hit here, Judd. I got to get the number here on this young man. 27. Is it 27? I believe so. That'd be Sean Peebles. Pitch missed again, ball three. Three balls, it one strike. The three runs, swing and a miss. Strike two. Yeah, that's something we've worked real hard on. Todd has worked very hard on getting that up. Uh, so uh, we have that now, that feature. Swing yeah, and a miss. There yeah, yeah. you go, on. Get a little confidence build. Yeah, baby. there's his first varsity strikeout. Now to bat number one, and left fielder, Grayson Quorum. Whatever Ralphie said to him worked. Yeah. So the Knights down to their final out here. As Grayson Quorum comes up to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Let's take that pitch inside, ball one. This has been like the fastest non exciting game. Less than two hours we're at. Yeah, we just, you know, both teams getting ready yeah. for the district tournaments. Big swing and miss. Right, yeah, just kind of, we moved right along. Yeah, we here. have. Yeah. We really have. <laughs> Conk's got all their runs in the first three innings. Run in the first, a run in the second. Three in the third. Swing and a miss, strike two. Now the Knights down to their final strike. Here. Yes, sir. There it is. He'll Turn strike him out. Looking for so. Ong, who 
got a great defensive play to start the inning. Then walked the batter, then hit a batter. Ralphie came out to have a chat with the youngster, and he struck out the next two to end the ball game. And the Conks will sweep this two-game set here with Keysgate and win this one by the final score of five to nothing and extend our win streak to four straight games. Key West playing their best baseball of the year as we head into the district tournament on Tuesday. Conks win, Conks win, final score, five to nothing here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon in Key West. Don't go away, we'll take a two minute timeout. We come back, we'll get the Mojo Sports Bar and Bistro post game show started. We'll put a wrap on this one, hand out some awards and get you set for the district tournament that starts on Tuesday. Key West wins five to nothing, back in two minutes here on your home of the Conks, the zone, 97.7 WABK.